Okay, Ezekiel 317. Let me show you something, what we're here, what we're here to do. How you doing, sister? Hey, I'm good. Good. I'm, I'm Jacob. Your name one more time, sir. Good. Steve Kelly and you, ma'am. Carmen. Miss Carmen. Okay. So, I'm just going to bring a few scriptures out to show you uh, some purpose, okay? Because you, you have to understand uh, these some interesting times we're living in. You agree? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, three weeks ago, we weren't wearing masks on our face. Three weeks ago, we weren't sequestered in the house. You see what I'm saying? All of this is of the most high. You got to understand, understand the times that we're in, okay? Nobody's warning our people, okay? The warning is in these scriptures right here of what's That's right. going on and what we must do. Read. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So if, if, if you haven't understood this Bible by now, it's written to the Israelites, for the Israelites, by the Israelites. This is right. not a democratic doctrine. This is not a uh, all-inclusive doctrine. The, through Genesis to Revelation, he's talking to a, spe a specific bloodline, okay? That bloodline today, if we go to Revelation, you'll see it is you, okay? We're going to help you connect the dots on, on telling you what your purpose is in this earth, which has never been shared with you, okay? Uh, they've been robbing you. They've been taking your money in these churches and, and any other type of religion. It's all deception. Here's the truth of this Bible. Watchmen. We are the watchmen. Watch this. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Give them what? Give them warning from me. So he says, watchmen, get to my people and give them a warning, okay? They're not telling you, guess what? You got to keep God's commandments. They're not telling you what God's commandments is. This is the warning. Read. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. See, the churches are not telling you that, yo, you want some train tracks right now, and there's a train coming. They're not telling you these things. We're telling you. Yo, um, the, the Most High is on his way back, and his son Christ is coming back. Now, now, why is that important to you? That's important because do you want to be on the, 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 the same side, or you want to be on the damn side? Bring it out. Obviously, you want to be on the side that's saved. But it's conditions to salvation. Your, your enemy has never told you what salvation was. But go up to 3 and 11 real quick, and we're going to get back into what, it is, what you must do to be saved, okay? And who you are according to the Bible. Read. Verse 11. And go, get thee to them of the captivity. Now, you're looking down, sis, and you see captivity is another word for, south, for slavery. We are the children of the slave trade. Would you agree with that? Okay, did you know that slavery was in the Bible? Did you know that? Okay, so this book right here is a book of captivities. No matter what they tell you, this book is not a book of fairy tales. It's not a book of uh, uh, flowery stories and a talking snake and, and, and a woman eating an apple. No, no. All, this book must be taught to you and taught to you in truth to let you know exactly what it's talking about. All of this is revolving around your salvation. Salvation is not pie in the sky when you die. Okay? I'm going to show you what the salvation is, but keep reading. And go, get thee to them of the captivity. Unto the children of thy people. So make the connection. The children of the captivity is the children of thy people. When you got over here uh, in 1619, you got off of what? Ships. Did you know slave ships was in the Bible? We're going to read Deuteronomy 28, 68 to show you that. But keep reading. And speak unto them and tell them, thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Because certain people don't want to hear the words of God. All we're reading you is the words of God. We not act, you don't see no cup up here. You don't see no giant ask for money. Right. You see us out here every Saturday. We could be in the bed right now, but what are we doing? For the love of our people, we're here to wake our people up, to show them uh, we, 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 we get a, a, a group salvation. We don't get the salvation of what Christianity or the, the, uh, the under the auspices of Christianity. They tell you, you must be saved. Okay? But guess what? When the Israelites went into captivity under Pharaoh, did one Israelite get saved at a time? Or did they all pass through the, the, the water and get saved from, from Pharaoh, from the hands of Pharaoh? You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> the same type of salvation we're looking for today. Because guess what? You need a Savior. You need a Savior right now. Give me, give, give, give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, 
and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now to some, that may sound like bad news, right? A curse is a bad thing, right? Okay, but see, it's despair when you're going through something and don't know why you're going through it. If, if nobody can tell you, like you, if you're constantly going to the doctor and he cannot give you uh, a diagnosis for your symptoms, either he's a bad doctor or you in bad shape, okay? Either case, that's, that causes despair when you cannot get answers to what you're going through. Right now, the black man, the, the Hispanic man, the Native American man, they are in sickness. They are in spiritual sickness and they are disconnected from the Most High God. That's right. They are disconnected because they have broken God's commandments. Right. So how do you know... Uh, what, what, who you are according to the Bible if nobody's ever told you? How can you connect the dots? How do you, it's 18 nations in this here Bible. It's 18 nations. Which one do you belong to? It's over 18, it's 19. <laughs> we, we, we are the 19th, but we're the first. I you want to look at it, okay? Watch this, read. Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. This, this is a curse out here. This, this uh, COVID-19, this is a plague, okay? Believe it or not, okay? This is one of the conditions of this captivity that, that it was promised. It, Moses wrote this to the Israelites over 3,000 years ago. And these things are just now coming to pass. Get 61. Verse 61. Also, Every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. As a result of what? Breaking his commandments. So this whole book is only written to the Israelites, okay? He's not talking about no other nation. Proof. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 46. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. Talking about these curses. Should be what? They shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. It is a sign that right now. You guys are wearing masks right now and you didn't uh, two, two months ago, two years ago. Okay, this is something new in the earth. Understand this. See, he has to put these, he has to hold that, get uh, Hosea 5.15. Here's, here's why these curses have to be on his people. Watch this. See, the only thing that uh, our hard-headed people understand this is a butt whooping. Because they're not following the commandments, right? Following the commandments. So we're going to talk about some commandments that we're not following. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Till they acknowledge what? Their offense. This is the most high God. He said, I'm going, I'm turning my back on you. You're on your own right now because you weren't listening to me. So. As a result of being on your own, you have to deal with on your own these curses, these plagues. You got to go see the physicians. This, 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 this uh, perpetuating your sickness. They're not giving you a cure. All they're doing is treating symptoms. Read. Right. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. To seek his face is do what you guys are doing right now. I asked you to come over. You could have kept walking, but you turned back. Right and, and, and you're listening. This is seeking his face. The face of God is these commandments. The face of God is this book right here. That's right. That's right. Go back. Uh, 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 in fact, go to group 401. Watch this. This this, this, this is what this book is. You, you probably thought this was just a book of open it up when I'm feeling bad or open it up when the preacher needs some money. No, this is not about that. This book is about this right here. Read. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. And the law that endure what? That endureth forever. So if the law endures forever, we're going to talk about some laws. Keep reading. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Now you probably heard, the, uh, you guys go to church or been to church before? Yeah. One one thing that they like to spout off is the wages of sin, right? What are the wages of sin? The wages of sin is death. But what is sin? One against God's will. I like that answer. I like that answer. But we got to be more specific and use what the Word of God says. That's right. Watch, watch this. This is what sin is according to the Bible. Watch Bring it this. up. Because we don't have a God. We don't have a. Uh, a COVID-19 problem. We don't have a uh, a white man problem, a Chinese man problem. We got 
a God problem. We got a sin problem. Okay? That's right. Sin has connect, disconnected us from God. But how do you, we were talking about the symptoms a minute ago, okay? COVID-19, death, that's a symptom of sin. So let's deal with what sin is. Let's address the problem. Watch this. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. Okay, so you are under grace right now. You have the grace right now to hear how to correct my ways, how to cleanse your ways. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to bring out a few few, few commandments. Get, get Isaiah 58.13. Let me show you something. Isaiah 58.13. You know what day today is this? Today is the 18th. But what day is it to God? Okay. What, 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 what would you say? I'm asking you about the day today is. Today is a very special day. And I'm going to tell you why today is a very special day. Today, to, well, let me show you. Watch this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 13. Bring it out. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. From the what? From the Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day means the seventh day. That's, That's right. When you go back to Genesis, it tells you that the Most High, he rested on this day and hallowed this day. Okay, he didn't do anything on this day and, and he made it uh, a covenant for his people. Okay, so this is a very special day once you understand who you are. Read. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure. On from doing your pleasure is doing anything that's contrary to what he said not to do on the Sabbath. Read. And call the Sabbath a delight. So you see us, we're delighted to be here today. This is a delight to be here in front of our brothers and sisters and tell you who you are according to the Bible and how you must get home. Watch this. The Holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways. Doing your own ways is doing that which he said not to do on the Sabbath. There are some rules and regs surrounding the Sabbath. There are some things we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day, okay? What, now, about Jesus? Well, that's one thing. We're supposed to gather. We're supposed to be gathered today. Uh, get me uh, uh, Exodus 35 and 3. Watch this. A few things we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath. Okay. What's your name, brother? I can't hear you. Keith. Okay, Keith. Thank you for coming over here, Keith. We're telling our people who they are according to the Bible and telling them some laws that the most I said we got to keep. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 35 and verse 3. He shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Okay, so you should kindle no fire. What that means is there's, there's no cooking today. We're supposed to prepare, yeah, yeah, you can't cook. From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, you're not supposed to be cooking. This is what the Most High God said, okay? Right. We're not supposed to be working. We're not supposed to be buying or selling today. These are things that we are not supposed to be doing. You thought that was on Sunday, but let's prove it. Exodus 20, verse 8. Watch, watch this. Let's, 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 let's prove this thing. Watch this, sis. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Now, she made a really good point. You heard what she said. Most people think that uh, the Sabbath day is Sunday. That's what religion has taught us. But the Most High God never gave us religion. He never said, be Catholic, be Baptist. Okay, let, 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 get Genesis 2. Get Genesis 2. We're going to go back to the beginning. Genesis 2, verse 1. Watch this. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work. On the first day. On the seventh day, God ended his work. Because uh, the, the world teaches you the, the first day of the week, Sunday, even Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday, right? So it must, it, it must be the Sabbath, right? But that's not what God said. Watch right. out. And he rested on the seventh day that's from right. all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. So, yes sir. Okay. Okay, watch, watch this. Give me, uh, give me, give me Hebrews 4 and 4. So you say there's so many people doing it on Sunday. Right, right. And, and, and they claim to be Christian, right? 
Okay. So the world is in darkness, okay? And before you before you get there, watch this. Watch this. Get get uh Isaiah 8 and 20. Watch this. There we go. Bring it because, out. because you got you got workers of light and you got workers of darkness. How do you tell the difference between the two? This this is gonna answer that question for you. See, anything we tell you, it's gonna be done said. It's coming out of this book, okay? It's not gonna come from here. We're not gonna speak from here. You'll never get one of us to tell you what we think or what we feel. Right. Our thoughts come from what the most high thinks. That's, That's right. right. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. No. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So it says to the law. We went to the laws and showed you uh, what the most high said about his Sabbath. Okay? We didn't tell you what uh, the Catholic Church laid out when, when they put you in chains. They told you that Sunday was the first day of, of the week and Sunday was the day that, that we're gonna uh, we're gonna honor God. That comes from sun god worship, okay? That's pagan. You what you need to understand about this book, all the all of get, get that in Amos 5. Amos 5. All, all of the feast days, all of the days that, that are set up in, in this kingdom, Babylon the Great, are juxtaposed, are in opposition to what God said do. You understand? Everything. From, from the holidays they keep, from, 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 from the holy days that they so-called keep, birthdays, all of these things are wickedness according to God. You got that? The book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 21. Bring it out. I hate, I despise your feast days. Your feast days. This is the most I say, I hate your feast days because they're not my feast days. When you read the book of Leviticus 23, it tells you the days that he wants you to, you to keep. Okay? He never said keep Christmas. He never said keep Mother's Day. He never said keep Easter. He said keep Passover. He said keep Sabbath. He said keep New Moon. Okay? So you got to understand there, there is there's a, a reprogramming. There's a repentance that we're supposed to be doing. Repenting is understand. Look, I'm in sin. This is what Most High says. I, I need to make a decision. Okay? So watch this. Keep reading. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Give me, give me, give me. So he said, I won't smell in your solemn assemblies. What day does the world assemble on? You just said it. You said Sunday. That's, an, that's a solemn assembly. But is that the day that he told us to assemble on? No, it's not. You asked the question, sir. You said, what day can you say? You asked that you asked what changed and who changed this thing. We're gonna show you. Okay, watch this. Daniel 7. 25. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. Read it out. And he shall speak great words against the most high. This he is the one that's in power. When you read the book of Job, it tells you uh, uh, the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? So the, the, the earth is given, is, which the earth is everything that's, that's under this. This, this, these clouds and this sky right here is given into the hands of the wicked. That means the wicked is running the earth. Okay? Read. Out. Read. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Speaking great words against the Most High is saying that, you know what, these people right here, the Bible says the slaves were the children of Israel. Okay? The world tells you the man over there uh, uh, praying like this with, with curly cues on his head, that's the, that's, that's the children of God. Bring it out. The ones who stole Israel in 1948. No, no, the, the ones who stole the land of Israel. We telling you that you are the bloodline of Israel. The that's man. right. That's you understand? Right. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Bring it out. Jacob's name became Israel. He had 12 sons. You right. see yourself on this sign right here. If you are according to this right here, you are the children of Israel. That's, that's right. right. Okay, read that, bring that up. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Because you are the saints of the Most High and don't know it. That means you're worn out. As if I've uh, worn out a pair of shoes and you no longer see the tread at the bottom. <laughs> you worn out, you know you no, no longer have identity. Okay, that's what this means, read. And think to change times and laws. And think to change what? Times and laws. Okay, so in Genesis it tells you that from sundown to sundown, well, from, from evening to the morning was the first day. Then it says, from evening to the morning was the second day. So the day, according to the Bible, it starts at sundown. But the one who changed, gave you daylight saving times, he says, uh, midnight begins the next day. You see what I'm saying? 
He tells you it's a leap year. He said Most High never said midnight. Most High said sundown. Read that again. Times and what? And think to change times and laws. So we're reading out, we're reading to you out of the book of the law, telling you what, what the Most High God said the day you're supposed to respect his holy days on. Give me Hebrews. Is that it on that? Uh, read, read. And they shall be given unto his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. So right now we're waking up as a people. We're waking up and we're repenting. Just And I'm going to show you what repentance is. But get Hebrews 10, 25. Watch this. This is what the solemn assembly is supposed to be. This is the day we're supposed to assemble on. We're supposed to assemble on the seventh day. And then you're going to get that in Hebrews uh, 4 and 4. So this, this, right? this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is. So the manner of some is is the ones that, sacred, that, that worship on anything other than what God said to worship. Right? But exhorting one another. And, and so... So much more. And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. What day is that? The day of the live, the day of Christ. When Christ comes back, that's a dark day. That's not a good day. That's a day where he's coming back to kill two-thirds that didn't listen to him. Okay? See, most people think Christ is coming back to give you hugs and share candy. He is coming back with destruction. That is a dark day. Read. Read, read, read that next one. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice. For sin, because Christ was the ultimate sacrifice for sin. Hebrews four, and and, and and Christ was the ultimate sacrifice for sin. And most Christians, now we we believe that we are the Christians, okay, because we follow what Christ said do. But if you ask the average so-called Christian, was to say that you know I believe in Christ, you know I'm sanctified, saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. Ask them one thing that they do that Christ did. Christ kept the Sabbath. Watch. The, the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 4. The book of Hebrews, chapter 4, and verse 4. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. On this wise he spoke a certain day, read. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. So, so he rested. So this is the New Testament. It's telling you on the seventh day, drop down to 8. Drop down to verse 8. Verse 8. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? So he didn't speak of any other day. He didn't tell you Monday or Sunday. We've been talking about the seventh day from, from jump. Christ kept that day. Acts 5 and 30. From the church. 5 and 29. The book of Acts. The book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. What, read that one more time. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey God rather than men we ought to obey God rather than men I like what comes next because what comes next is, is not necessarily answering the question but it says some, it gives you some meat it gives you some bread crumbs and it's Luke 4 16 next read, read, read what's next the God of our fathers the God of everybody's father of our fathers right. raised up Jesus whom ye slew whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Right. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. To who? To Israel. Repentance. What is repentance? Okay. But before we get repentance, get Luke 4, 4 uh, 16. Bring it out. Luke 4, 16. So, so we, we talking about we talking about a lot of stuff right now. We are talking about the Sabbath. We are talking about repentance. We are talking about who you are according to the Bible. Can we pray for the whole world? I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you what the whole world is. Read. Watch this. This is the book of Luke, chapter four and verse sixteen. Watch this, sis. Listen. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, this is Christ, and it's talking about a custom of Christ. Read. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. On on the, on Sunday. On the Sabbath day. Christ. If you if you follow Christ, you should do what Christ did, right? Read. And stood up for to read. And he, stu he stood up for to read. I, I'm, I, I like the story that he reads. 
and, 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 and you know, and it's a, it's a very important story. But I think we should stay on 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 the topic right here because <laughs> because you guys have uh, been misled. Okay, Matt Mark. I mean Matthew five seventeen. Matthew five seventeen. Watch this. So so you said man, man. We, we've already we've already understood that man has changed these laws, right? And, and it's an agenda behind man changes these laws. We said you're either gonna follow Christ, or you're gonna follow man. You can't do the, you can't do the both, okay? Uh, watch, let me show you that too. Watch this. <laughs> the book of Matthew, chapter five. Because they don't have nothing to do with the Sabbath <laughs> or keeping the Sabbath. <laughs> okay, watch. Read the book of Matthew, chapter five and verse seventeen. Think not that I am come. To destroy the law. So the law was the seventh day. Gather, the, gather yourselves together on this day. Don't buy. Don't sell. Don't work on this day. Prepare your stuff for this day because you're honoring me. Because you love me. Right? Because you all love God, right? You love God? Okay, we're going to see. Right. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Read. For verily I say unto you, so heaven and earth pass. You on earth, heaven still is above your head. One jot or one tittle. One comma, one period. Shall in no wise pass from the law. Nothing has changed about this law. Man cannot change God's law. Right. Okay? Right. So, so I'm, and I'm, I'm going to show you something. Give me uh, Isaiah 66. Isaiah, Isaiah 66 and 15. Watch this. Watch this. So we, we, we going through a lot of stuff, and you follow me, and I appreciate you guys sitting there listening. He said, my sheep hear my voice, okay? So you understand, this is the voice of the Most High. We're not giving you our words. Everything we're telling you is thus said. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Like a what? Like a whirlwind. So when Christ come back, it's gonna be it's gonna be a dark. This is not a good day. Read. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So he's coming back with flames of fire this day. So go go to verse one. Verse one. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? So so uh, jump to twenty three. Verse twenty three. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another. So we talking about new moons and Sabbaths here. We still talking about the Sabbath, okay? This is he's, this is a future prophecy regarding the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, and we still talking about keeping the Sabbath. Watch this. Shall all flesh come to worship before me, really? saith the Lord, and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men. They have transgressed against me. Still want to keep Sunday worship. Still want to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, all these things. Really. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. Let's read that again, because I don't think the sister heard what the, what the penalty was for doing these things. Read. For their worm shall not die. So you dead, but the worm won't die. You dead, and you still conscious of this, this thing that's going on with you. Watch this. Neither shall their fire be quenched. And it's an unquenchable fire that you still got to feel. But you're dead, but you're not really dead, but, but you're feeling what's going on with the worm that's, that's not dead. You know, this is a dark day. This is, this, is, this is not what you want. You want to keep God's commandments. Okay? That's right. And they shall be in a glory unto all flesh. They should be up in a point. I mean, it's going to be hard to look at this thing. Exodus 20 verse 8. Exodus 20 verse 8. That's just one commandment. Let me bring out one more commandment for the sister, one commandment for you, and, 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 and after, after we get this Sabbath. Exodus 20 verse 8. Watch this, sir. Hey, man, hey, this, this here, uh, these are the laws of the Most High God. And this is, it's not what? It's, it's not funny. I know it's not funny. I'm glad you asked the question, sis. Watch this. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. He said, remember the six, the, 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 the Sabbath day. He said, remember, because we would, he knew that we would reach a time when we would forget these things because our enemies, when we went into the hands of our captains and became captains, 
They didn't tell us to keep God's laws because they knew one thing. We got power with the Most High God. The Most High God will fight for us when we keep His commandments. Read. Six days shall thou labor. So you can work. You can work uh, Sunday through through Friday before sundown. Okay. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Now you gotta understand something about the Most High. He is, he is the ultimate rule giver because his people are the ultimate rule breakers. See, we would we would go so far as to say, you know what, I'm not working, but I'm gonna have my ox still plow the field. That's why he had to get that, that condition on this commandment because we slick people and we're wise to do evil, okay? And, and, and breaking his laws is our pleasure, okay? But it becomes our pleasure once we repent. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.